Hello, I'm Jerry Roman and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to cover five stocks under $15 that have been flying under the radar and are crushing it. Not only are these stocks in the green, but they also have great profit margins and their revenues are growing. I know there's a lot of focus on how crazy the markets are right now and I wanted to share these five stocks that are all under $15 per share that everyone can afford to add to their portfolio. And the best part is since they are fundamentally strong with growing revenues, this increases our chance for profit and minimizes our risk. These stocks are so strong that they have gone up significantly while the broader markets have gone down. And I want to try a new format today where I quickly introduce you to the stock, hit the highlights on a side-by-side -side fundamental analysis, and then take a quick look at the charts. I like to keep my video short and packed with valuable information. So at the end of this video, please let me know if this format works for you. Before we jump into today's top five stocks under $15, let's go over a one-day trade that we closed yesterday for a 31% profit. In the last week, oil and energy stocks have been reporting record earnings and we've been crushing it with a few one and two day swing trades. On Monday, we used options on British Petroleum that only cost us $56 per contract and the same day they were up 17%. Then yesterday, BP crushed earnings and our options shot up 76% and I ultimately closed the positions for a one day profit of 31%. We also hit a 144% profit earlier this week on Chevron and we have another option trade that could 2x today. These are just some of the types of trade alerts that I send out and I'm sharing the entire alert sequence on the screen now so you can see how our trade alerts are explained and the types of updates that are posted. My Discord is all about helping people make money and if you want all of our live trading alerts on stocks, options, and crypto, then come join our community. It's a tremendous value and I love showing these types of option plays where you only have $56 at risk but can learn how to use options for big profits. All right, now's the time to grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. Today I wanted to give you guys the business description for the companies that we're covering because these are a lot of sleeper companies that you've probably never heard of. They're flying under the radar but they're definitely making strong profits. Our first one is Hudson Technologies. Their ticker is HDSN and these guys are a refrigerant services company and they provide solutions to recurring problems within the refrigeration industry primarily in the US and in just a minute we're going to jump over for a side by side comparison for all of today's stocks. Next up, we have AXT Incorporated. They're in the semiconductor space. Their ticker is AXTI, and they design, develop, manufacture, and distribute compound and single element semiconductor substrates. These guys, man, they're pretty specialized. Uh, they deal with proprietary vertical gradient freeze technology. A little bit more information here, but this is the type of company that we normally don't hear about, but their numbers are quite impressive. Next up, we have Census Healthcare, ticker SRTS, and these guys are a medical device company. They manufacture and sell radiation therapy devices to healthcare providers worldwide. Next up, we have a biotechnology company that is crushing it, Catalyst Pharmaceuticals. They're a commercial stage biopharmaceutical company focusing on developing and commercializing therapies for people with rare debilitating chronic neuromuscular and neurological diseases in the US. And these are the types of numbers that really excite me. I just can't help not commenting on them. We've got a net income margin of 28%, free cash flow margin 42%. They're loaded with cash, rule of 40, 60%. I mean, strong fundamental numbers. And our last stock we're looking at today is one you've probably already heard of, Diana Shipping, ticker DSX. These guys transport a range of dry bulk cargoes, including commodities such as iron ore, coal, grain, and other materials in shipping routes worldwide. And if you haven't been following shipping stocks, they took a huge dip about a month ago, and they have recovered quite well. We're now in the beast mode side-by-side -side comparison and let's start with our stock performance. We can see for the PE ratio, the lower the number, the better. And our lowest on the day here is Diana Shipping coming in at 4.5, but all of these guys have relatively low PE ratios, our highest being AXTI. Now the beast mode is broken down into different sections. So here we've got the income statement and this tells us whether or not the companies are making money and then it's also color coded. The most important is always gonna be light blue. Second most important is gonna be light green. So for the operating margin, we always want that to be above 10% if we're looking for long-term companies. Our lowest on the day is AXTI at 10.2. Our highest on the day here is CPRX at 37.19. And then moving down to the net income margin, we know we want the highest number possible and and for the net income margin, our winner on the day here is going to be CPRX at 28.03. And following quickly behind it, we've got Diana Shipping at 26.79%. 
Next up, we want to scroll down and look at the balance sheet, and this tells us whether or not the companies are financially stable, and we're looking at the tattle ratio. We always want that number to be above one. Anything above two is considered exceptional, and these guys are phenomenal. Our lowest on the day here is Hudson Technologies at 1.49, Diana Shipping at 1.88, then we've got SRTS coming in at 5.33, AXTI at 6.38, and CPRX, Catalyst Pharmaceuticals, at 7.6. And the way we get the tattle ratio is by simply dividing our total assets, in this case 238 million, by the total liabilities, 31, and that gives us our tattle ratio. Up next, we've got the key performance metrics, all very insightful to the company's overall condition. So for revenue growth last year, our winner here was Census Healthcare at 182.36%. Free cash flow margin, this is very important. And with Beast Mode, if you need to know what anything is, just hover over the little eye, it pops up. And free cash flow measures a company's ability to expand its business and pay returns to shareholders using only the money generated through current operations. And we can see our winner here is gonna be Diana Shipping at 48.75%. Rule of 40 indicator, this is one I love to look at, and Census Healthcare, they are crushing it at 181%. We've got my own FNR indicator, and this simply is the free cash flow plus the net income margin and the revenue growth for the last 12 months summed up. The higher that number, the better. Our winner here, again, is going to be SRTS. And then book value ratio, if anything comes in above a one, that's exceptional, and that just simply means that their book value is greater than their share price, which is a great thing to have. However, we don't have any in that category, but we do have Diana shipping that's pretty close at 0.78. Management effectiveness tells us how well management is generating returns for investors, and the higher that number, the better. Hudson Technologies, 57.8%. We also have my 5R indicator. That sums up all of our different return on possibilities. And again, Hudson is just cleaning house today. They're at 175.2. And then growth metrics. Companies should be consistently growing their businesses. And check out the net income growth for the last year. Our winner here, Hudson Technologies, at 719%. We also have AXTI 350%. Really, all of these companies are exceptionally strong, with the one exception being Catalyst Pharmaceuticals. They were down. Now we're just going to do a quick run through on the charts to show you visually how they're performing. Our first one here is AXTI and we can see that they shot up. They just reported earnings. They were expected to come in at roughly 8 cents and they doubled that at 16 cents. They shot up and this is what I call too much too fast. I like how they've bottomed out. I like how they're heading up but we want to wait for them to come back down closer to this 20 day moving average before I jump in. Next up, we have Census Healthcare, and let's start with our percent change bar. We can see they got a PE roughly nine. In one week, they're up 14%, one month, 45%, three months, 50%, and over one year, a whopping 201%. Now, right now, we're looking at the six-month chart, so let's drop over here to our one-year chart, and you'll really see how they've been performing. They've got a nice, steady trend going up, and they are also reporting earnings on Thursday after the bell, so this is one to watch because if it closes over a 1196, that's going to be a breakout play. Hudson Technologies, they've been on a tear. We can see over one week they're up 16.2%, one month 25%, over three months 38%, and six months 149%. If we look at the chart, we can see a real nice upward trend. They peaked here at 1076, pulled back, and now they're starting that climb back up. They also are reporting earnings on the third after the market. And one more thing I want to show you is our risk management bar. So this is telling us if we've got an account of $25,000 and we don't want to risk more than 5% that we want to buy roughly $1,250 of the stock. And then we always ask the golden question, and that is, will I risk $173 and buy 135 shares for $1,251? It tells us our target price would be $11.20. It tells us the recommended trail stop is 14% and our profit per share would be $1.93. So this is really helpful for us getting the right size of a position. And we can set this up for any account size we want, or if you have a TOS account, you can set it to actually use your Thinkorswim account. We're now looking at Catalyst Pharmaceuticals, and let's go over some technical analysis. We can see that they are definitely skyrocketing up right now. They just hit a high of $10.77 yesterday. They do have a nice revenue growth forecast of 42%. And if we're looking at the technicals here on my Momentum Dream Indicator and my Buy Sell Indicator, we're always looking for green on green as a great time to get into the stock. So here we had green on green. We would have captured this movement. And the next time to get in would have been whenever we crossed over resistance, and we 
can see resistance right over here is coming in right around $8.60. And this is what's called a breakout play. If it closes above that, it is often off to the races and that's exactly what happened here. The next time I'd be looking to buy this would be whenever it comes down closer to this 20 day moving average. And we also have to watch out for an earnings report. And our last stock today is Diana Shipping. Looking at our charts here, we can see about two months ago, they hit high of 689. They're currently trading at $5.97. They also pay a nice dividend of 16.8%. And looking at the charts here, we've got a little bit of a reason to be concerned. We've got strong resistance coming up here right around the $6.61. So if it closes above that, it's a possible breakout or the next time to buy would be if it comes back down closer to that 20 day moving average. That's most likely what I'd be waiting for. Looking at our charts. We love to buy green on green, but if you look at these bright blue bars, they normally last six to 10 bars. We've already got that here. So I wouldn't be surprised to see this one pull back. All right, that covers our best stocks for under $15. And please let me know if you like this new format. I know a lot of other channels talk about the overall market and just ramble on, but that's really not my style. The way I see it at the end of the day, we're all investors looking to make money. And to do that, we need to look for opportunities. So that's what I cover in my videos. We just have to remember there's always a bull market somewhere and we aim to find it. As always, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want our trade alerts, indicators, free stocks or free crypto, check out the links down below. Peace and I'll see you on the next video.